<clears throat> hey guys, Francis here again. Uh, in the mail, I got this complimentary issue of Bassmaster Magazine. And uh, so, you know what I did. I went ahead and counted up the stats on it, you know, advertisement pages versus regular content pages. And uh, I got 45% of advertisement. And that's still a lot less than that 85% and 65% of those women's magazines that you saw in that previous video I did, um, I don't know, three videos ago or something. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to link the link in the description below. But while I was counting up the advertisement, um, I found, if I can find it again, the big... Bassmaster Classic advertisement. Yeah, I did count this one. But anyway, um, it's going to be here in the Houston area at the uh, George Brown um, Convention Center. So depending on um, how my night goes on Friday, um, I'm going to try to make this. And if I don't, well, you didn't see this intro, did you? Finally, my favorite place to eat after a long shift. <clears throat> Let's grab some grub and uh, then try to head on out to that Bassmaster Classic. Mmm, Taco Cabana for breakfast. I love enchiladas for breakfast. Well, let's get back to the truck. Okay guys, uh, finished up with breakfast. So let's see if we can find that George Brown Convention Center and, and hit that Bassmaster Classic Expo. Well, we made it. Here's where a deer hit me. So let's head on out or check it out. Oh look, there's Minute Maid Park for you Astro fans out there. And there's the George Brown Convention Center. So I made it in and they gave me this uh, pass so I can get in, which is really nice of them. So folks, let's head on in and take a look around. Okay guys, let's see if I can uh, kind of explain what's going on in here. I just entered the hallway and I'm just doing a sweeping scan of everything that's that I can see from the uh, entrance. So far, so good. Oh yeah, first the boats, right? And these are from Nitro. Very nice boats. Out of my price range, of course. Plus, uh, I really don't want to spend, you know, um, slip fees, monthly slip fees. And Lawrence was there. They had all their, uh, you know, their high-tech gizmos and stuff for finding fish. I think I'll just use my little fish finder. Now they had this big fish tank. I guess they were going to do some demo, but I never did uh, see it. But they had all kinds of species of fish in there, you know, not just bass, but they had some sunfish in there. And they also had some yellow perch. I've never seen any yellow perch in Texas, but uh, if you have, you know, leave me a comment and tell me where you found them at. Abu Garcia. Yep. So I decided to enter their booth see what they had wanted to see if they were really gonna put that black max reel and sure enough they did 
And they had a lot of other reels that I didn't have, and I probably won't. And of course, showing off their big selection of uh, rods there. Pelican was there, but I didn't see Zoffinger, you know, the kayak guy. So, he said he was going to be there on Saturday, but I never saw him. Would like to have met, met him. Quantum was there, of course, along with their products. And they had, like, uh, you know, the Zebco brand there, too, since they're all under the same umbrella. And I was looking for um, my um, 8 to 1 smoke bait casting reel. Didn't see it here. Had to look around a little bit more. And I finally found it. I don't know. It's a, I don't, I'm, ha I'm still having problems with that reel. Oh, it's my birthday coming up. Hint, hint. Plano was there. Good Lord, they know they have a lot of my money from all the storage boxes that uh, I purchased throughout the years. I'm sure they took some of y'all's money too, huh? Of course, Academy was there. Oh, you know those uh, fishing rigs for kids? I think it's the Kid Caster. They were there. But I saw more adults in the booth than I saw kids. Kind of funny. You hungry yet? Well, not me. Remember, I just ate. Well, Gary Yamamoto was there, uh, I guess with his crew. I didn't see him. Now, Dix had one of those mechanical riding big bass fish. You know, instead of a riding bull, a mechanical bull. Oh yeah, there was lots of little booze places. Oh, uh, real snot. I think I got some of this product in my last Lucky Tackle Box for salt water. And yeah, I did find out that you can use this product, this line conditioner, for braid. Alright, here we go with the boats again. Let's see, who's this? Oh, it's Ranger. Okay, Ranger. Of course, Cabela's was there. More boats. Let's see, who is it this time? Man, you know, I would expect it, um, you know, pretty ladies be modeling these boats, but uh, no, they just had regular guys. A little weird. Oh, Phoenix. Luz was there. I was uh, looking around to see if I could find my um, my loose speed spool and sure enough I found it or maybe it was this one I'm not quite sure of course Mustad was there showing off their hooks and other goodies Mega Bass was there. I tell you what, they had a really nice display. You know, some of their pieces are uh, lures or work of art. So much so that, you know, they had to put them behind uh, locked glass doors. Oh my God, the Guggen Squad. Well, you know what's next, right? I'm sure they're uh, promoting their favorite rods and reels, right? But where were they? I'm still looking. Oh, 
Oh, okay, I think I see Lake Fork guy in the red. There's Flair, and I think that might be Robert behind the kid in the green t-shirt. Now, Live Target, you know, we've gotten some of these uh, baits in our uh, monthly subscription boxes. They're kind of known for being very, very realistic. I do have a few of them, and I did find a few on display here. Of course, we've all probably received missile baits in our monthly subscription boxes. And there's Lucky Tackle Box. Oh, shirt of the month. Well, you know who's around the corner, right? Mr. Gene Jensen, Fluke Master, and there he is. I tried meeting him, but he just had too many people around him all the time. There's the Kuma, you know, Ch Tackle Junkie 81 is always promoting their rods. Of course, we've always been getting big bite baits in our monthly subscription boxes too. Now, this is neat. Uh, Navionics, uh, Nick the Informative Fisherman tells you how you can download a free app for your smartphone and use it as a tool. Daiwa was there. I tried looking for one of my Daiwa reels, but... Um, you know, I just couldn't find it. They had just had so many reels. All right, here's what we need to do. We need to go boozing. Then after we get drunk, we can take a, do some boating in my new bass boat. Not. <laughs> oh, Toledo Bend. Now this is where I want to go on vacation this spring. In my brand new bass boat. Not. Livingston was there. They had a lot of uh, their lures. I'm still up in the air about whether those electronic ones really do um, work better than the normal lures. You know, the ones with the flashing red light and the um, beeping noise of a, well, probably not beeping, but the sound of a, a wounded um, um, fish, prey fish. So if you guys have any experience with them, please let me know down below. Now Berkeley was there. If you bought a reel at the show, they would, um, you know, spill it up with some line for you for free. Oh my God, my battery went dead. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to uh, end this now. So uh, I'll just uh, say goodbye to this show, and um, you know, until next year. I'll try again. See y'all and see you guys. Y'all take care. Francis Kiefel and I approved this video.